We're gonna put out some live hides here and, and play with the dog a little bit. And uh, what I've got here are some containers full of live bed bugs. Uh, there's a mesh screen over the top the bugs cannot get out. Uh, this jar right here has approximately 20 bugs inside of it, which would be considered pretty much a kind of a heavy infestation. Uh, it's going to give off a lot of scent. Um, I'm going to place this, uh, let's place this uh, right, right here behind this stack. And we're going to let it sit there for a minute. And uh, then we're going to bring the dog in and see if he can find it. I have a couple of different jars here. One jar has uh, three or four bugs in it. One jar has uh, six or seven bugs in it. One jar has one bug in it. One jar has dead bed bugs in it. We would prefer if she doesn't find the dead bed bugs. Uh, there's no reason to. Uh, you don't have a problem if all you got is dead bed bugs. It's uh, eggs and live bed bugs is what you need to look out for. So we'll let that sit there for five minutes. And uh, if you actually had a real bed bug infestation, the bugs would be sitting in there for 24 hours. They'd be releasing a lot more odor. Uh, theoretically, they're just sitting there for five minutes. They're going to release some odor. but. Not like as if they had been sitting in there all night or for days or for weeks. If they had been sitting in there for days or for weeks, the dog will find them right away because they've had time to develop a, a scent. And uh, that's what she specializes in. So let me put these away for now.